Hello. Hi, everyone. Take a deep, fulfilling breath. You might be inside today. And listen to the sound of our voices. It's like we are. As we describe scenes, maybe you're looking for something to take your mind off of more serious things. Of art. Culture. We'd like to invite you to join us as we describe images of art and culture and anything else that comes to mind when you think of the West, of the West and the Southwest. Southwest. We invite you to draw along with us. Draw along with us. Drawing what you imagine as we describe these scenes for your drawing pleasure. The image I will describe is a photograph. The scene takes place within a rectangle. It may be drawn in any chosen implement, oriented horizontally. Within the frame, there is a mountainous region. In the summer of dark and light, in the distance, we can see a bulldozer oriented vertically and mountains. There's a large meandering river. The sun must be well fortified at the top center of the frame. About one third of the height of the rectangle from the top. A destructive war machine opposite the camera, not seen in the image, except through the glint of light that dapples across the surface of the water. The shape of the mountain range undulates with homemade violence, curving lines reaching to triangles of darkness. We know those to be spaces modified across the background of the image. And the top quarter of the picture plane, about one third varying degrees of angular clouds that are darker in the foreground and lighter as they go backward up into space. That's good. So let's draw on the very lowest left-hand corner. A military tank. The shape of the vehicle. A basic triangular shape. Its edges punctuated by frustration in the clouds. To the right of the frame, in the foreground, many government buildings with an undulating edge. There are varying tones in the sky. The turbulence visible behind the peaks lies outside the focal area of the picture. Reaching from the very bottom right corner all the way to the top right corner. A missile attack. We will not focus on direction, but rather on pattern. To create lines in the background with occasional dark outlines at the edges.
In order to define the river, let us describe the space that is not the river. Huh? In the top right-hand corner, we see shapes that represent the town hall and several other buildings, leaving behind a negative swath of light and space, one quarter of the width of the frame. In the middle of the picture plane, extending to the right-hand side, another bulbous, vaguely triangular shape, a tank, juts forward. It looks almost like a knee bending forward towards us. The tank it curves slightly up and around to the right, meeting around two-thirds of the way up the picture plane to a destructive extreme on the right-hand edge, or, you might think, one quarter to one third down from the, the government buildings. This space is dark. There are some areas that are darker, some that are lighter, but generally we think of this as concrete and steel. bottom right suggests a few small flowers in the corner. In the center of the frame, we have two individuals, the photographer and the governor, shown to us in a three-quarter view, stuck in the basement of a hardware store. Are they friends? Are they acquaintances? The central figure is wearing knight's armor, holding a shield in the left hand. What? Just behind the main character, slightly in shadow. There is an island above and between these two individuals, seen at a great distance from us, perhaps a half of a mile. This is another darkened area with even less detail than any of the other areas described so far. Uh. And to the left of this, a scenic mountain town perched high up in the Rockies. Above the water, there is a small hill, and behind it, a small hill, and behind it, a small hill, and behind it, another larger hill, and behind it, another larger hill that are each lighter than the next. And the very darkest spaces are in the front, and the very lightest spaces are in the back. Two thirds of the way up from the bottom of the picture, another similar curvature, but this time the governor, who seems to be riding a mule or a horse is wearing high-waisted pants, a brutal geometric body, and a vest. And then this person, arms outstretched, held up in the air, almost as if to boast, or possibly to be singing opera becomes much more placid as we see it here.
the horse seems to be coming over a hill in the center as though it's walking along a path. Moving slow across the horizon, imprinting its repetitive tracks in the dirt, leaving an ordered pattern on the ground as much as it emphasized a path of chaos. When those have been described, the top third of the picture mostly dark, the triangular shape on the left near the top, the triangular shape on the right near the middle, and the smallest triangle on the very, very bottom on the left, we leave behind the space, the white negative space of water. And the way that we draw this water is with angry marks disrupting the small town including erasing the mayor's house. And catches highlights across the surface of the water. Almost all of the objects and characters seem to be emerging from shadow at different points. A very dramatic scene. All of this dichotomy is framed by an idyllic mountain landscape. It is a peaceful scene. The water we know to be moving, but it appears to be still as it has been captured by the photographer. Here's a progression that seems to be moving. Something happened before and more will happen after but this is just a snapshot. A moment to be considered on the path towards something greater. <laughs> 